I know I just said I wasn't going to talk about this in a full video form because it was too easy. But I saw this and I, and I just thought to myself, ah, are we really going above and beyond to try to prove one guy wrong? I feel like we shouldn't have to. But, 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 you know, some people just got to stand proud for what it is that they want to fight for. And what they want to fight for is to be seen when they are disrespected. Did Trump say the black jobs? The black, they taking the black, who is they? They, hey, they, can I get an application? Who, I need to get hired on with the black jobs. Where the black, how much they paying for the black jobs? I never heard of them. Nobody, y'all black people ain't told nobody about the black jobs. Man, God, what's wrong with y'all black people? Well, there are black jobs out there that they taking. The, the black jobs. Let me know. Hello? Hello? Anybody know where the black jobs are? Hello? The black jobs. Hospital staff using an operating room to film a TikTok attacking Trump for saying he'll give blacks more jobs. They should all be fired for this. Now, the comment, once again, for those of you who didn't see the video, is wild because it's not something I would personally be mad at because I don't care. It's not affecting my daily job. It's not affecting anything I do when I clock in and clock out. But of course, people who want a virtue signal are only mad when a white dude says the same thing other black people have said, especially when it pertains to black people who use their lucrative businesses to scam people. So everybody's asking what a black job is. And like, if you don't know, you just don't know. So I'm gonna give an example, cause I know. So, for example, there's veneer texts. We really need those. It's the podcasters that ask if a relationship should be 50-50. We need them. Um, the TSA at Atlanta Airport, they all black, really, mostly. The Allied Universal Security, that's always black people. Um, the people that, you know, stand in like the little, the little rooms and pop the balloons if they think somebody's ugly. We need that black job. Um, the producers of Now That's TV. The producers of Tubi, the producers of Zeus, the intern at the Shade Room, the interns at the Neighborhood Talk, the creator of the Shade Room and the Neighborhood Talk. Um, we really need those. We really need those. Those are our black jobs that these people are taking from us. And what he said was right. And this is not a Trump hat, by the way. Um, but but let's hear these fine doctors, nurses, and operating room people out. All here in the operating room doing our black job. Doc, how does it feel to do a black job? Black excellence. What do you do in the, in the OR? OR oh, nurse. Oh, oh, sounds like everybody in there is qualified to do their job. Ooh. Grab. I'm a skull check. Anesthesiologist. Right. Yeah, don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> I love my black job. I'm, I'm drastically sorry, excuse me. Is that a real person? Now, let's work with this for a second. Let, let's go at it with two different directions. Number one, maybe it's a prop. M maybe that's a prop that they're using to say, hey, we're working very hard. Number one, if it is a prop, why are you wasting hours going into a room, turning all of the lights on just to put a leg in and say, hey, we're working hard? That would mean y'all are faking something to prove that you probably should be fired. Number two, let's say that that's a real person. You mean to tell me in the middle of what looks to maybe be surgery on somebody's body, y'all stop to do a TikTok? You should be fired because you've seen videos in the past of nurses having to deal with patients and they stop, they do a little cringy TikTok dance and it's like, you should be fired too because you on the job doing something you're not supposed to do. I'm sorry, but doing all this and thinking, oh my God, I'm doing this on the job. I can't possibly be fired for this for posting it on social media is fucking stupid so if we set a standard for them we gotta set a standard for these fools too they need to be gone because why are you doing this and because i'm petty why in the fuck are y'all playing future while doing surgery i love my black job david i love my black job orthopedic surgeon i love my black job surgical tech willis imagine being the dude that's getting surgery done on him. 
and you maybe you're awake or maybe you're off the anesthesia and as you fall into sleep all you hear is i love my black job i love my black job i love my black job it is my black job don't play with it you might be having a nightmare in your head thinking am i in jail or is this a slave kink because nothing here makes sense also what the fuck happened to hipaa laws is this not a violation of that maybe it is maybe it isn't not a doctor could be wrong but i feel like if you in the operating room operating on somebody, you should not be recording that unless it's for some documentary pertaining to trying to educate people about the leg, about surgery. This should not be happening. I love my black job. I love my black job. You just fucking standing there. All right, all right, all right. Listen, I understand. You felt personally attacked because some rich politician, maybe he gonna be the president, maybe he won't be, is sitting there saying something that got you in your hurt little fee-fees because you've worked hard to be in the field that you were in, whether if you want to be a porn star, whether if you want to just sell shoes for a living, whether you want to be a doctor. You felt personally attacked seeing this dude say something that made you feel a certain way. Need I remind y'all, black people criticize black people about the jobs they go into whether if it is as a doctor a lawyer a prostitute everybody seems to criticize everybody so why are we jumping hand and foot when the white guy said it? again we was all having this conversation about black people scamming each other when it came to pink sauce when it came to tarot card readers and when it came to people in atlanta being veneer techs why would you let somebody play in your mouth like that i understand you feel personally attacked, but can we not, while on the job, try to prove that we're great and cool? Because maybe, just maybe, somebody will see that, and it'll be your supervisor, and they'll want to know, why the fuck were you recording doing dumbass shit during a surgery? The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, is a federal law passed by Congress in 1996 that establishes national standards to protect patients' health information. HIPAA's privacy rule applies to health plans, healthcare providers, and clearinghouses, and requires that private health information be protected and its use and disclosure limited without the patient's permission. Maybe, 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 let's play with it now. Maybe they got the permission of whoever it is they do a surgery on to do this TikTok. I would hope so, because if not, clearly we're going to have to have a conversation about people and how they choose to operate. Peachy. Thanks. Hi, Peachy. Don't say where you work, but you have a job, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you consider your job a black job? I, what, what's, what's, what's a black job? <laughs> it's it's you, a job. What, what's you, a black job? You don't consider your job a black job? No. Why not? Because I, I guess because it's diverse. I don't oh. know. Oh, like, this is crazy. It's a job. Like, I don't think jobs should be... Oh, no. Who, what, do you, who, who, what, what do you think a black job is? I don't know. If you could guess... What, <laughs> well, if I had to guess... Slavery. There. <laughs> if someone really wants to hit roots that hard... Slavery. <laughs> oh my god go to bed pg good night everyone good.